Out of the filth and mud spawned deep it came, this horrible slug white creature that only wanted one thing, to be loved. And nothing, no one could stop it, for it was not alive. We give you, dear reader, rebirth. Come to me, Melissa. I love you, darling. You are mine forever. <laughs> kill it, kill it, it's getting nearer. I, I can't, it won't die. Clarence Holmes was a wispy, non-committal type of fellow, mild, timid, and very henpecked, for Clarence Holmes was married, definitely and irrevocably. I, I hope I'm on time today. She, she's not angry? Clarence Holmes, is that you? Yes, yes, dear. I got here exactly on time. If you, you're you not peeved at me? Hm. It's amazing you got here at all. I've been slaving over this hot oven preparing your meal, and what do I have to show for it? Burned fingers. A man who doesn't appreciate me. Oh, but I do, Melissa, dear. Yes, yes, indeed. Here, let me help you. Clarence had been married for nine years now, and nine years he had suffered with Melissa. But the little man didn't let it show in the slightest. The miracle was that a handsome woman like Melissa could be married to him at all. Going out again tonight, dear? Yes, and it's no concern of yours, Clarence Holmes. Finish those dishes. If you must know, I'm visiting some girlfriends at a club meeting. Don't wait up for me, I'll be late. Yes, Melissa, um, have a good time. Melissa, you see, had married for money and had spent all of it, leaving Clarence penniless. This was the last year she intended to remain with him, and the joke was that he knew it. She needn't have lied to me. I wish I could make her happy. I... I love her. But Melissa hardly loved her husband at all. She was anxious to be rid of him, and her girlfriends turned out to be... Oh, Larry, darling, that little rat won't give me a divorce. I can't do what I want. I hate him. I hate him. Seems like a decent little chap, though. Oh, you don't know him. He's a beast. He makes me work all day long. He even... Yes, he beats me. There must be a way out of this. There is, baby. You know, accidents always happen to people every day. Larry, do you... do you think we can pull it off successfully? I'm going crazy living in the same house with him. Sure, honey. We gotta wait, though. We gotta be ready for the right time. The right time came at an opportune moment. Clarence received a letter a few nights afterward. Melissa, listen to this. It, it's unbelievable. Your uncle died Wednesday. You are named heir to this estate. One castle tower on Devil Hill Road. Signed Ezekiel Walters, attorney. Here, let me see that, you fool. And you have been granted a personal sum of $100,000? Proving you inhabit the castle. Dear uncle, I, I hardly knew him. It was so kind of him. So very, very kind. Thus Clarence Holmes and his loving wife went to live in the foreboding castle on the hill, lonely and isolated, high on a storm-tossed sea coast where fog-like air cloaked it in a veil of putrescent evil. Phew, what a place! No modern conveniences. If it weren't for the money, I would have left by now. But, but dear, I like it somehow. It seems so, so peaceful. Aye, it is peaceful, because no one, not even insects and other four-legged creatures, will ever stay here. You have inherited much wealth, but you have also inherited horror. <laughs> well, what horror? What are you talking about? You horrid old man. Get out. Get out and never come back. I've warned you, and now fate is in your hands. <laughs> oh, my... But Clarence was quieted by the scoffing Melissa and sent to bed. Later that night, however, he heard the sound. Clarence. Clarence. Clarence! Huh? What, what was that? Clarence Holmes, you are the owner of the castle tower. Hear us. We shall come for you. You are one of us in spirit. We shall come for you. Uh, I, I'm having a nightmare. No, no! What are you screaming about, you old goat? 
Melissa, look, oh, look down there. It was horrible, horrible. I see nothing down there but the sea. You fool, you imaginative ninny. Back to bed. <laughs> the next day, Melissa had a visitor. If you don't do something soon, I will. Now he's beginning to see things in his sleep. All right, wait a few more days to establish a good alibi. And a few nights afterwards in the castle. Melissa, Melissa, something fantastic has happened. Come with me, come quickly. Another one of your hallucinations, I suppose. Look, look over here. We're rich, dear. We're millionaires, ten times over. <laughs> Gold, more than we'll ever know what to do with. You're wrong, Clarence. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Hello there, little man. What? Who, who are you? Melissa, what is a strange man doing here? You're the strange man, Clarence, dear. I'm sick of you, do you hear? There's no reason for you to live. Larry and I have enough money and power to get rid of you. No, no, you wouldn't. Don't! Oh. Where shall we croak him, baby? Throw him into the sea. That's what he fears most. <laughs> No, don't do this to me. Take the gold. Take anything, but don't let me near them. Over you go, dear, with no one to find your body. And with all the money we have, the law can't touch us. You slipped, accidentally. Goodbye, little man. Clarence landed with a sickening thud. He was dead the moment he hit the rocks. The blood seeped out of that broken little body and merged into the green blue of the roaring sea. And then, they came. He is here, the master of Castle Tower. Come, brothers, he is now ours. Down, down, down they pulled him, ever gently, ever inevitably, into the murky depths below. Prepare for the mending of his body. He must be alive and breathing before we can work the change upon him. After an eternity, Clarence Holmes opened his eyes. He had returned from the Stygian sleep of death to find himself in horror beyond compare. Gah! W where am I? But my body, it, it isn't damaged? I remember that young man hurled me down on those jagged rocks. You are among friends, Clarence Holmes. We will make you as us. No, please, don't change me to, to, to things like you. I, I'd rather die. I have nothing to live for anyway. Don't! It will not hurt at all, Clarence. You cannot feel it. Prepare yourself for rebirth. The molecules of his body rearranged themselves and slowly solidified his flesh into shape. Clarence tore through his shackles as if they were putty and faced the assemblage of horrors. I told you I didn't want your crazy experiments upon me. I told you... Ugh, some, something's happening to me. I feel funny. Changing? Changing? <sighs> Welcome, O oh brother. We hail thee as one of us now. I can't understand it. I feel wonderfully alive with energy. I, I'm stronger than a dozen men. I want to laugh, to shout. You are immortal now, Clarence. You have escaped the world of men and all its sufferings. I am your uncle, and all the heirs of Castle Tower are destined for this. Soon we shall inherit the world. Yes, I understand now. I have no more thoughts of fear, anger, jealousy, no more desires of material wealth, only peace and love and kindness. Then come out with us into the great beyond. We are building huge cities under the water, waiting for that day when we shall rise and claim this planet of miserable strife. Yes, yes, with all my heart. But first, I must attend to something. Then I will return. Meanwhile, in the castle overhead, two conspirators are gloating over their evil deed. <laughs> Did you see the look on his stupid face? <laughs> what fright! What bleeding cowardice! <laughs> yeah, now it's just you and me, baby. When things quiet down, we can get married! <laughs> oh, to be young again, to be still beautiful, to love and live the way I want, We'll have every... What is it, Melissa? I bear both of you no ill will now. You planned cunningly, but I love you, Melissa. You are mine, my darling. Come to me. Help! Do something! This'll stop you. Bullets cannot harm me. 
I shall deal with you as you have dealt with me, puny mortal. But you are not destined for greatness or immortality. Your kind can never be. Put me down, please! Oh. Now for you, my dear, I will explain why the gold is always in this castle. It lures people here. Some good, some bad. Those who inherit this place always see it. Those who do not, never see it. D don't touch me! But I am your loving husband, dear. You will stay by my side forever. Your beauty shall be gone, but what matters as long as we have each other? Please, please, I'll do anything! Only don't let me become like that! Please! But Clarence Holmes now had the love he had desired for so long. The dream of prolonged bliss he could never have in life. And down, down he went with his bloated burden. Down into the depths waiting to claim them.